I, uh, I worked for uh, CNC Yachts Limited um, for 14 years, 14 and a half actually probably, and uh, we built sailboats uh, there, uh, yachts all different sizes, 24 feet up to 44 feet, uh, all done on a production line uh, schedule. 24 foot uh, sailboats actually we they were built uh, one per day uh, on a line and out one one every day went out the door finished and uh, according to size they naturally they took longer the 20 27s were three a week went out the door 29 was two a week went out the door we we built a, a lot of sailboats uh, in in the heyday at CNC Yachts. Um, there, I actually worked there in the metal fabricating shop. I I did. I worked on the line for <clears throat> about one year. That was all. When things were slow in the metal fabricating shop, I went over onto the line to help out. So, and uh, but uh, CNC Yachts was. Uh, in its heyday, was a great place to work. Uh, everybody that worked there were, was was great. Uh, they employed, I believe, 450 people at the time, and that. And, but uh, the, we had a foreman there who said, because we were number one by far, built the best boat in the world, and he used to say, you know, there's only one problem with being on the top, is you only have one place to go. And that was down, and uh, unfortunately, CNC Yachts lost one of its. Uh, when George Hinnerhaller sold uh, out Hinnerhaller Yachts to CNC Yachts, CNC was made up of uh, George Cuthbertson and George Cassians. And uh, George Cassians went out to play golf on a Sunday, came home from golf, and sat down in his chair, and his wife found him. Dead. He died of a heart attack, and CNC Yachts kind of never was the same after that. It ended up being sold and being sold to people. We got sold to to airlines who didn't know the first thing about building sailboats. And unfortunately, the foreman was totally correct. We had one place to go, and that was down, and we went down. <laughs>